why does it matter to have a developer and a, a tech entrepreneur actually join government? Why does it matter? How many people here are familiar with City Time? Just say yes. Yes. So City Time cost, we, we, we bid $63 million for a payroll system. Uh, there are people who will disagree with me, but I can't imagine spending $63 million on any piece of software. I, I, and I think that is why you need somebody in the city council who can actually look at contracts and say $63 million for what? And so at the end of the day, New York City spent $700 million on city time. So my, my question is, has anyone ever gone $640 million over budget on any of their projects ever? <laughs> Thank you, Israel. But the reality is that that doesn't happen in the private sector and it shouldn't happen in government either. Uh, it's my hope that if you had city council members like me in government, uh, they would be able to look at what's going on and say, hey, this product shouldn't have cost 63 million, it shouldn't cost 700 million, and uh, let's look at this. Uh, one interesting thing is uh, we've recovered 500 million dollars from that as a result of a lawsuit, and so the city of New York has now spent uh, 200 million dollars on city time, which now theoretically works even though it still hasn't been adopted by all the city agencies that it was built to serve. And so we're $137 million over budget, and that's considered a success.